Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, August 10th. <laughs> Always forget the date. And today's episode, I think, 148 of No Catch Your Name. So I do got some finished objects for you guys and some whips. And that's about it. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and hop into it. So my first finished object to get out here is the baby blanket I was working on last episode. And it is from a set called Little Cherub something set. I <laughs> can't remember. I think it might just be Little Cherub set. When you first go to the link that is, I'll put down below, it looks like it is just a uh, like a christening gown. But the blanket pattern is towards the end of that pattern. It starts on page 3 and continues on to page 4 of the pattern. <laughs> but um, anyways, I made this baby blanket originally uh in 2015 I made one for my son I made one as a gift recently I just can't remember who I gave it to or what color it was and then I made this one for the second baby hopefully <laughs> but I got it all done so I'm gonna show it to you it's kind of hard to see the whole thing but there it all is so I did the ink the complete pattern it does have a border of like a shell stitch it's backwards it's the front <laughs> around it in the lacy bit which I love and then the solid piece in the middle. I love this blanket pattern. This is one of my favorite baby blanket patterns. It comes out to a really good size and um, it works good. I used the one for Jesse when he was baby for Jesse <laughs> and uh, I loved using it with him. So I'm sure I love using this one with baby number two. And I'm trying to hold it up. I'm having a hard time. Lighting's not the greatest. It's overcast today. And my, the only light I have in here right now is this lamp and then the window. My extra light that I usually use is in the bedroom. I forgot to get it out. Um, and Devin's asleep. I don't want to go in there and accidentally wake him up <laughs> before it's time for to get him up for work. But, uh, yeah. So this color is a really pretty green. It's like a minty color. The color is called aqua, though. <laughs> which I think is weird because when you think aqua, when I think of aqua, I think of blue. And this is more of a green color. But this is, um, I think it's loops and threads. E Echo brats. The colorway is aqua, like I said. I used three and a little bit cakes balls <laughs> pretty sure i used three and a half might have been no because i got two full ones left and then a half over here so yeah i used three and a half cakes balls <laughs> for this it's kind of a lot i didn't think it was gonna take that much but it's a perfect blanket i love it <laughs> i used eye hook for it and i think it just came out perfect i think it's perfect i can't wait to use it <laughs> so i'm gonna uh fold it up and put it up until much closer to my due date <laughs> and then pull it out and wash it then but I think it's gonna be so cute and it's good gender neutral color so there's that and like I said the links will be down below it is a free pattern by yarn inspirations it used to be red heart when it first came out back in I think 2015 it was called Princess Charlotte christening set because it was when the Princess Charlotte was born over you know in the UK <laughs> and um that's when I first downloaded it. That's why sometimes I call it that because the printed off version I have of it is still called that. But I did write a note on my pattern that it's now got a new name and now you can find it in the yarn inspirations because they bought Red Heart. But yeah, so this yarn I did get on clearance at Michael's forever ago. <laughs> and uh, it's really nice, I like it, it's really soft. So that was my first finished object. My next finished object is my last uh, national holiday crochet item. And it is a kitty cat. My latest one not my last one i'm gonna keep doing it i like doing those <laughs> i think it's so cute this is a free slash paid for pattern by olive at stringy ding ding .com, and it'll be linked below also the reason i say free and paid for is because you can get the free version of it on her blog her website <laughs> or you can buy the pdf and her pdfs are all a dollar 99 so um they're definitely worth checking out because they're really cute she makes the cutest emigrammies ever i used a g hook which i think was a little big i usually use elf hooks for my um, groomies. Her pattern called for an H hook. So I went down to G and there's still a little holes there. It's just with my personal tension. Some people like her can make amigurumis with uh, worsted weight yarn and H hooks and they look perfect. And But with just my tension, I uh, I need to use smaller hooks. <laughs> so, uh, But I still think it came out adorable. I still love this cat. It's so cute. <laughs> it is so cute. This main body color is uh, I Love This Yarn. It's called, I think it's called Flapper Girl. Let me look. It's I Love This Yarn print flapper girl and I only used about 
a little over half of a skein. I had a full skein of it. I actually have another one right there. <laughs> but uh, all this white is Red Heart Super Saver white. <laughs> that was scrap ball. And this little bit of pink is Red Heart Scrap also. And I believe it's called Perfect Pink, but I can't ever remember the pinks. <laughs> um, there's a few pink colors. And I always get them mixed up. And it's got just a bunch of fiber fill in it. And I, I used little safety eyes and I made whiskers. <laughs> I think it's so cute. It's just a cute uh, cat. I don't know if I'm going to give this away or what. Because um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep it or give it away. Jesse hasn't had any interest in it. Usually he'll show interest in my amigurumis. And I'll end up giving them to him. But he doesn't seem to like the cat I guess. Probably the colors. Because he is 100% boy. And uh, I did not make him that way. I was trying to raise him to you know not be so boyish that he doesn't like girl colors and girl things but it just happened naturally he's just 100 percent boy <laughs> he loves cars and dirt and green and blue the mowers are outside and they're going by <laughs> and uh, he doesn't like pink or anything or or if i say hey look at this toy that's a cool toy he's like mom that's a girl toy and i'm like i did not teach you that <laughs> but uh anyways whatever i'm sidetracking i always do there's the cat it's so cute you could, if you want to make it smaller or larger, you just have to change the yarn and hook combinations. You can make a giant one if you use blanket yarn and a big hook, or you can make a smaller one if you use like a DK weight and a small hook. So, that's a good thing about M. Groomies is you can always swap them up to fit your personal needs. It's so cute. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this poor little thing. Put it right here for now. And my scrap ball will go into my big old scrap bucket, which is right here. It's a tote. <laughs> and that ball bin can go in the trash now. My last finished object was a test pattern I was working on for Crystal at Chronically Crocheting. This was a branch off of her original pattern, which was Sir Purs a lot. Was it Sir or Mr? Mr. Purs a lot. I can't remember now. <laughs> it's Mr. or Sir. But this is Princess Trots a lot. <laughs> and it's a unicorn. So here's mine. She showed mine on her video already. So there's my unicorn. I love the hair. <laughs> the mane. This is so pretty. So. I had a little bit of issues uh, with mine shaping. I felt like mine was longer than everybody else's. <laughs> and I was trying to squish it down. But I was running out of fiber fill. I only have a little tiny bit left. I gotta get some more. And um, so she's kind of funny shaped. But I still love her. <laughs> I think I stuffed her nose too much. I feel like her nose is sticking way out there. <laughs> but yeah, so the yarn I used, I held double because I didn't have any number five weight other than a few balls down here. But I didn't have enough to make the whole body. So I held uh, Red Heart Super Saver. Uh, soft white together and it's actually two different tones. I do not know if you can see it But they're two different colors of soft white, but I think it looks fine It's not enough to be super noticeable or annoying <laughs> and this is Red Heart Super Saver pale yellow and Then Red Heart Super Saver perfect pink and this is Red Heart with love Hot pink and then black just regular black and this color is mainstays. This is I got two more balls of it. I got this one here and one in my bedroom <laughs> This is uh, Mainstay's Multi Pink <laughs> yarn that I was gifted, I think, during Valentine's Day. Around Valentine's Day. I got it. And it's so pretty. This took almost a whole ball. Wait, this did take a whole ball. The mowers again. <laughs> That's so annoying, but, you know, they gotta cut the grass. Uh, this is one whole skein of that yarn. And actually, there's one less uh, curly Q or two, maybe. I stopped early because I ran out of yarn and I didn't want to open a new hank skein just to finish them off. So I just, it looks fine with the amount that it has. I think it's cute. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this big old thing. I still have one of my, um, Sir Purs a lot, Mr. Purs a lot. I sold one of them and I still have them. It looks like a Siamese cat. I think about giving that to my in-laws because they just recently got two Siamese kittens and they're so cute. <laughs> but, um, I don't know where I'm going to put this big old thing. Got to find somewhere to put it. Maybe, I don't think Jesse will want it. <laughs> Because like I just said, like I just was talking about, he's not into girly things at all, which is fun. But I'll figure something out. I might give it to someone. I know a few people who might want a unicorn. <laughs> but I enjoyed making her. She was a lot of fun. The body feels to me like it takes forever just because it's so big. But it didn't really take forever. I made it in like, I sat down in the evening and did like half of it. And then the next day I finished the body and then made all the little pieces. And so I'm on this thing right here took the longest, but it really wasn't horrible. It was a lot of fun to make. Crystal mentioned that too. And I'm, I was watching Gilmore Girls and making it. And I made it in two settings only because I didn't want to sit there and do it all day. <laughs> so I worked on it a whole bunch, made like half of these little things. And then I came back to it uh, later and finished it up. And I liked it a lot. I loved how she made it on like a patch like thing <laughs> to make it easier to sew on. Cause I hate sewing on pieces. And I've had jellyfish patterns where you make a whole bunch of these and you have to sew them on individually and it's a pain in the butt. 
but she does it to where it's on one piece so you just sew the piece on and then all the hair is attached that is such a cool idea it's kind of like people do with emma um dolls and they make the wig caps that makes it so much easier because then you make the hair all on a wig cap and then just attach it and it just makes it so much easier so basic same concept i love that hair <laughs> i want to make some more of these for something i don't know what though it'd be cool to have a big old doll with a big old head full of hair like that that'd be neat anyways i love this unicorn i love the colors i love it i love it all right i'm gonna put you i'll put you there stand up I don't know if you guys noticed my gargoyle. I got that at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> uh, me and Je Devin went to Cracker Barrel on Jesse's first day of school, which was Monday, uh, which was yesterday, to, uh, you know, just to keep me distracted because I was upset. <laughs> but, and I got this. I seen it online, and I told Devin if it was there, I was going to buy it. I'm not going to turn it on because it's loud, but it, it moves and lights up and uh, says things. But it's so cool. I love that. I love Halloween. I think that's so cool. <laughs> but anyways, whips. I have three whips, but only two I can share with you. One of them is my secret Halloween swap partner gift <laughs> whip, which is over there on Devin's amp or cabinet. I think it's called a cabinet. <laughs> um, I still haven't picked that up. I need to do that. I'm almost done with it. I just And the part that I have to do is just one solid color. It's just a lot of crocheting. Because I already did all like, the hard parts with multiple color changes and stuff. So I just need to sit down and do it. <laughs> but luckily, whenever I get around doing it, it, it shouldn't take too long. Knock on wood. I don't have any real wood around me. Because this is pressed wood and the floor is laminate wood. <laughs> my my entertainment center is over here, but I can't reach it. So we'll just pretend I knocked on it. <laughs> Alright, so my next uh, whip that I can show you is another Halloween pattern. It is my Halloween um, bag for myself. Let me get the picture here. I worked on it a little bit since you guys last seen it. So here's what it's going to look like. It is a paid for pattern by Heidi Yates. I love that. I love everything she makes. All her holiday decorations are so cute. So I'm getting there. I got the body of the bag done. So here's the bag. It is a whole bag. Bottoms closed. Tops the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> I got Frankenstein's uh, head here and his hair. I love Frankenstein's monster, as if you can't tell. I got one, two, three. We're good on this. He's one of my favorite um, spooky characters because he's not really scary, but he's just cute. This is also a Heidi Yates pattern right here. I can't remember who off the top of my head. I think that was um, the Underground Crafter up there. The little guy. It's either the Underground Crafter or Maria's Blue Crown. It's Maria's Blue Crown, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so I gotta do, I got his eyeballs. I think they're down in here. <laughs> I got his, uh, the whites of his eyes done. Uh, it calls in the pattern to use buttons as the black of his eyes, but I'm going to make just crochet circles because it's just easier for me. And I don't know if I have any black buttons that will, are the right size. I have some giant black buttons, but not little ones. So, he's getting there. So, i got to make his facial features and then all these little characters. There's a jack-o'-lantern and a regular pumpkin. And then there's a Bride of Frankenstein. And then there's a bat. i got to make their little features and then there's handles. And I am going to line this. I'm going to use probably some fat quarters because the size of it is pretty small and uh, line it so that my candy doesn't poke through <laughs> and um, then it should be done. So I'm just working on the little details now. I think the hardest part's over with it except maybe the handles. I could if I wanted to cheat out. I could make handles out of that aren't crochet. Let's see, it looks like it's got one handle. It might not be too bad. I might actually not use a crochet handle though. I don't know. I'll think about it when I get there because um, crochet handles stretch really bad. So I might uh, use some webbing or something, cotton webbing. I don't know. We'll see. But that's what I got so far. And it's still living in this big giant bag because all the yarn I'm using for it is still Hank's. <laughs> I didn't have the right um, colors and scraps and the quantity that I would need. It. So it's in a big old reusable bag. I think this is, yeah, this is one from the Nashville Zoo <laughs> or Knoxville Zoo. Knoxville Zoo. That was the day that like me and my whole family went and it was a lot of fun but yeah so that's that one and that is a paper pattern but it's her patterns are usually pretty cheap too and she also offers sales around the holidays all really good ones all the time she'll have like you you buy um you pay like ten dollars and you get like so many patterns for that so it's really good but anyways last whip my last whip so far, I'm about to start something new later today, <laughs> but my last whip so far is my Christmas blanket that I'm slowly working on. It might not be done until Christmas, who knows? <laughs> but it is the free pattern 
by Maria's Blue Crown. You can also buy it all together as PDF. I think it's $15, but it's also all available for free on her website. It's just split up into sections because she originally hosted it as a crochet along, which I like that because it gives me little tiny goals to work towards. So for the first section, you got to make four of the light color squares and four red color squares. So I did get the, all the squares done. The ends are not woven in and I won't be weaving them in too good because I plan on backing the blanket. So what I'll do is I'll just weave them into the back and then probably knot them off and uh, go on with my life. But anyways, I got the four ones. This is Red Heart Super Saver Erin. <laughs> I forgot. And then I got the four red ones. This is, ooh, it looks really bright. It's not that bright, it's darker. This is Red Heart Super Saver Cherry Red. So now to finish off the first week of the cow, I gotta make four of the little Santa Claus over here. Santa Claus um, appliques. Right there. It's so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna make four of those to sew onto the light color squares. And then I was also looking, I don't have the whole pattern here, the rest of it's in there. But the whole blanket has two shades of green, two shades of red, and then the Aran color. But I'm just gonna go with the one shade of red and one shade of green. I'm gonna use cherry red, Aran, and then the green is like, I can't remember what it's called, hunter green maybe? I don't have, it's in the bedroom. I don't have it in here yet because I'm working on the red squares first. But, um, it's just gonna be those three colors instead of five different shades, you know, different colors, which is fine. So I gotta work on them little appliques and then I will move on to the next week, which is, will be eight more squares, I believe, and then four more appliques. And I think that's how every um, week is set up, eight squares, four appliques towards the end. And then one week is about attaching them all. And then the last week is about putting the border on, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think that's so. <laughs> but yes, that's all I'm working on. I do plan on starting a new whip tonight. Actually, I have two things that I want to start. One is going to be another national holiday crochet that's coming up. And uh, I really want to make it, it's so funny. I think it's such a cute pattern and um, it's a funny holiday. So I want to get that together. And then the other one is secret, so I'm not gonna talk about it. <laughs> but let's see, let me look at my notes. I actually wrote notes this time. I've been uh, slacking and not writing my notes. Oh, one of my notes is I do have a giveaway going on right now, but it's hidden in one of my videos, one of my recent videos that came out in the last week or so. So if you want to go find that, go ahead. <laughs> and it ends this coming Friday the 13th. Ooh. <laughs> and I will draw the winner for that on the next day, the 14th. And then the only thing I have written down is that I am working on some more project bags. It's just taking a long time. <laughs> I am finally starting to feel a lot better. So I don't know if uh, I'm just lucky and have had, so yesterday I felt good and so far today I felt good. So I don't know if uh, I might be saying it too soon but I'm feeling a lot better these last two days <laughs> um, so I might get more work I got a lot of the sewing done last week but there I gotta um, cut some batting and I've got to sew a bunch of liners oh I think I'll just hit the window <laughs> uh, yeah I'm looking over there because I got a lot I, uh, let's see here I'm about halfway done I think so I'm hoping to get those bags done maybe by next week sometime but I'm not gonna put a, an exact date on there because of uh, maybe it's so unwell lately with pregnancy stuff. Um, I can't really plan anything in advance just yet, but uh, soon bags are coming out soon and they are going to be some drawstring bags, uh, not sets, but just drawstring bags. And then there's going to be some two toned, um, little tote bags, littler size tote bags coming out. Yeah. I was, I was going on between making them zipper bags and little tote bags, but I think I'm gonna make them tote bags. I'm not hundred percent sure though. I just have to wait and see <laughs> if I feel like doing zippers one day or if I want to just do handles um, and snaps. So we'll, we'll just see when, whenever I, I get there, I'll figure that out. But I think that's everything I wanted to mention. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to hop off here and get this video edited and uh, up. I went to my Dollar Tree today and they did have wreath making things. Uh, I stopped, grabbed a bunch of it. I'm going to try to record me making a wreath. It's not going to be a tutorial, but it's going to be like a craft with me type thing because I watched some videos on how to make them and I want to try to make myself a Halloween wreath for my door because I don't have one I could put outside. I have some crochet ones, but I don't want them to get damaged being outside. Anyways, that'll be coming out soon, hopefully. Sometime this week, maybe. But I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. And thank you guys for watching and subscribing and liking and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.